In this video, I'll demonstrate how to save computational time for a steady state axial fan simulation by setting up an interrupt control using monitor statistics. Some steady state cases, such as the one shown here, exhibit transient convergence behavior which prevents it from reaching the target residual levels. For such cases, I can interrupt the simulation if a target quantity is constant for a specified number of time steps. In the user points tab, I can see a monitor point, MP efficiency, which displays an expression for the efficiency of the fan. I can see that the efficiency is relatively constant after a hundred or so iterations, and the simulation does not need to run for a thousand. Now I'll use a derived variable to plot the standard deviation of the efficiency. I'll look to see if there is a good target value to use in an interrupt control. I'll right click in the monitor window and select Monitor Properties. On the Derived Variables tab, I'll create a new derived variable and accept the default name. For statistics type, I'll choose Standard Deviation and set the interval to 50 iterations. I'll turn on the variable I just created. Returning to the Plot Lines tab, I can see the derived variable I just created is selected for the efficiency monitor point. If there were other monitor points here, I could quickly use the same derived variable definition with them as well. I'll deselect the MP monitor point and choose only to display the derived variable. I can adjust the range and plot type to better display my derived variable plot. Notice that the standard deviation becomes fairly constant after about 200 time steps. However, for this simulation, I'm going to create an interrupt control which will stop the solver once the standard deviation gets below 0.01. In CFX Pre, I'll open the Output Control Panel and go to the Monitors tab. Here's the monitor point MP efficiency I was looking at earlier. This time, I'll turn on Monitor Statistics and choose Standard Deviation from the Statistics list. Just like the derived variable, I'll use an interval of 50 iterations. This allows the solver direct access to this statistic during the solve, which will allow me to stop the solver based on the condition I'll define as an interrupt control. To define the interrupt control, I'll open the solver control panel and create a new interrupt condition. I'll use a logical expression. The probe function will be undefined for the first 49 iterations, and so, the absolute number of iterations must be greater than 51, so that the case does not terminate until the value is reasonable. As mentioned, the interrupt control will execute when the standard deviation of the efficiency gets below 0.01. When we solve the case in the Solver Manager, we see that the solver stops after about 70 iterations. Now, when I switch into the User Points tab and go into the Monitor Properties, all I need to do is expand the Standard Deviation section and select MP Efficiency. This is the result of including the Standard Deviation Monitor statistic in the CFX Pre output control. Switching to a log plot, I can see that the solution indeed terminates once the standard deviation gets below 0.01. And that concludes this demonstration of setting up an interrupt control using a derived variable and monitor statistics.